In the late 1980s, Dr. David Bronner, CEO of the Retirement Systems of Alabama, faced some difficult challenges. He needed to diversify the assets of the state's pension fund and he needed to attract business and tourism to Alabama. He embarked on an aggressive program of building golf courses, not just 18 holes, but 378 holes at eight sites across the state. The Robert Trent Jones Trail was born. Well, the, the big impact has been on the state of Alabama because basically it really didn't have anything to showcase. And now it has showcased one of the top elements in the whole country in the world of public golf. But I think the, the big impact has been not just on the tourist angle, but it has helped us immensely in recruiting industry to the state of Alabama. Uh, we got very lucky, of course, with Mercedes. But Mercedes or Boeing or Honda, you can name a whole bunch of them, Ipsco Steel, Trico Steel. All of those have come within the last six years. And part of that is due to the improvement in the quality of life. I think uh, the only fun thing about Trent and myself is he had called once in a while saying, you're making them too hard, you're making them too hard. And I kept telling him, make them harder, make them harder, because who's going to come if it's not hard? It's the only one that I know of in the country. One hole, for example, our 701 par 5, uphill over two creeks in a swamp, has 11 tee boxes. So you can sort of pick your poison at any level, uh, but at the same time, it makes for great enjoyment to come back to the same hole because when you move 11 tee boxes on one hole, you 200 yards different. So you can play it a multitude of times and still have an exciting round.